Today we're going to be reading, guys, Room on the Broom. Let's open up the book and let's see all the pages and I'll read it out of you guys. And then I'm going to let you guys see the picture, of course. The witch had a cat in a very tall hat and long ginger hair which she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But the witch wailed and how the cat spat. When the wind blew so wildly it blew off the hat. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. And out of the bushes, on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I'm a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and washed. They were, and they were, and... Whoosh! They were gone. Over the field and the forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and held on to her hat. But away blew the bull from a long ginger plait. cried the witch and they flew to the ground and they flew to the ground they searched for the burr but no burr could be found then out from a tree with an Ear splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with the bull in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low. Then said as the witch tied her, her plait in a bow. I'm a bird as green as can be. Is there room on a broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whooshed. They were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky and to the back of the beyond of beyond. The witch clucked her bow clucked her bow, but let go of the wand. Down cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the one, but no one could be found. Then, all of a sudden, from out of a from out of a pond, leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, 
As the witch tide dried the wand, he dropped it politely, then said with a cook, as the witch tied her, I want to say dried the wand on a floor no, 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 no. of a oh, I am a frogger, as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch. So the frog bounced on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone over the No, we hadn't even touched on the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and the broom snapped in two! Down fell the dog and the frog. Down they tumbled into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud. And the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I am a dragon as me as can be. And I'm planning to a witch and cheat chip for my tea. No, cried the witch flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help! cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew near and nearer, licking his lips. No, it says nearer. It just says near. And licking his lips said, Maybe this one's a last witch without cheek. But just as he planned to begin his feast, from out of a ditch was a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, sticky, and feathery, and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yell and a growl. And a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched. And as it strode from the ditch and it said to the dragon, Buzz off! That's my witch! The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he sputtered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spreaded out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down through the bed and jumped and down jumped the frog, down climbed the cat, and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. Done.
then she filled then she filled <laughs> up her that one? cauldron Oh, and now he's starting on me. Said with a grin. Find something, everybody, everyone. Throw something in. So the frog found a lily. The cat found a cone. The bird found a twig. And the dog found a bone. They they threw them all in, and the witch stared them well. And while she was staring, she muttered a spell: "Eagly, ziggly, zaggly, zoom!" Then out rose a truly massive. Max, Max, no magnificent, magnificent broom, with with seat father of the witch, and and the cat and the dog, a nest, for, a nest for, a nest for the bird. And a shower for the frog. Yes, cried the witch. And they all come. Put on. The witch stuck the broomstick and whoosh. They were gone. Thanks for listening to have a nice chill for this story. Hope you enjoyed it. So, bye.